all Tesla factories side by side, showing that construction progress for the first part of September, I guess. Going back a couple weeks, I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. <laughs> Quick thank you to new patrons Dylan Loomis from Electrified and James Stevenson on Twitter at I cannot underscore enough. Thank you both. That is a tremendous honor, and I thank you. I won't let you down. So let's just get into it, shall we? In Shanghai, well, uh, there's a new little building going up, a little uh, extension there in the south central area. Not sure how we missed that. The biggest news, I guess, is there filling dirt over the main parking area. That's kind of weird. And the Northwest Utility Extension, that building is, you know, basically done. In Berlin, what a bunch of progress we have to show. Well, the piling is set to expand. Uh, it hasn't expanded as much, but the equipment is there. At the south corner of the building, on the west side, the final sign is in, as well as parts of the temporary sign still there because it looks really cool. The south parking lot, the employee parking lot there, has chargers that have been installed, which is very cool. And uh, at the edge of the parking area, where you get in and out of the building, they have installed employee slap chops to make sure everyone is finely diced on the way out of work. I think that will save time. Uh, south of the MotorWorks building, the pavement there is finalized. Whatever comes next is just about ready. And around the uh, 4680 building, they're getting their final loading bay doors in and their final pavement, though they still have a bit to go. Just next to that is the retaining wall next to the road expansion. It's moving along and the road widening is starting to take shape. You can see some asphalt has already been laid. Next to the building, uh, they've got some castings that have been stockpiled. There may be a coming natural gas crunch, and since the uh, furnaces use natural gas to melt the aluminum for the mega castings, they're trying to get out ahead of it a little bit before the shortage takes effect. In the northeast corner, the loading and logistics lot is ready and kind of in use. And at the far northeast, there's grass in the retention pond. It's looking good. Play ball. And we've got a two-week delay on these because I've been super busy getting ready for Fully Charged this weekend in San Diego, where I'll be hosting a panel on Sunday and a guest on a panel with uh, 2 -Bit Da Vinci on Saturday. Very exciting stuff. Hope you can join us. Uh, tickets still available. Uh, coupon code MTW, my Tesla weekend, for 15% off at checkout. In Texas, well, the uh, southeast side has had some uh, concrete work finished, and the loading docks, well, they're underway. They're getting done. Not quite finished yet. The new loading docks we saw carved in, the southwest corner, they're all in use. They're finished. And what would a week at Giga Texas be without more paving rework on the west side? Now, I know, I know. It feels like they rework a lot, but they put down mostly asphalt before, and now they're putting in mostly concrete to support heavier loads. The warehouse on wheels, interestingly, uh, was mostly over here, and now it's over here, and it looks like they're doing some work to move some stuff around in anticipation of expansion, I suppose. There's uh, some chargers that have been put in in the south lot here, which is pretty close to the uh, east side entrance. So these are level twos for slower charging, you know, for like employees to charge at the first half of their shift and move for the second half of the shift. The grading that we've seen a lot of over here by the warehouse on wheels, it's getting a lot more done. It's getting a lot more level. They've got the surface layer finished. It is in gravel, leading me to believe that uh, construction is not imminent in this area. It's probably going to be the new Warehouse on Wheels. That is the belief of Joe Techtmeyer, who uh, graciously allows me to use his footage for the cathode building update, which I hope to have one of those out before I get on the plane as well. Over at the cathode building, a lot to see. They're getting the final roof done on much of the building, over a third of it, and uh, 
that big chunk of pavement we've been watching uh, on the ground floor is in and curing. A lot of interior stuff going on in there. Final stairs and whatnot. The mountings on the outside for all the wall panels are basically done. And uh, we even see some interior walls going up, which will throw my tracker all out of whack, but that's okay. There's a ton of regrading that's been done to the north of this, just off camera, which we'll cover next week, but they're expanding northward on the site. The substation area, the switchyard if you will, uh, that retention pond is in. The drainage connecting it uh, to other uh, areas where the water can get out has been completed under the little driveways. The final grading is done, and they're just kind of uh, getting ready. It's looking real ready to go for the next step. On the main building, the solar roof, the logo in negative, is looking real sharp. It's moving along slowly, so slowly. It's a very big space. It'll be 70,000 panels when it's done. So what did I miss or misunderstand? Leave me all your thoughts in them comments below. And a quick thanks to my Patreons who get early access, bonus content, and ad-free experience. All that good stuff. Keep the channel running. You know what you're doing, and I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, if you get a chance, I'm going to be at Fully Charged this weekend. So I guess stay tuned to stay juicy. And I can't wait to hear from you clever robots in person in San Diego.